So luckily in the last video, the world decided to deny the Americans from trying to propose arts funding. And that is where Barack Obama is very close to winning a cultural victory. He's already, he only needs three more nations to become influential to win this campaign. And uh, I, I'm, I'm getting worried about that, but you know, as time goes by, I mean, I think that we're gonna be okay. Uh, we have definitely enough time, I think, to declare war on both Germany and the UK. Um, I, I, I do have kind of, I do have sort of plans just in case something goes wrong to maybe rush after the USA and maybe try to grab a few cities. And one nation I absolutely have to utilize is Cuba. I know you guys have been suggesting it from the very beginning of this campaign, and yes, it is certainly number one on my priority list. The problem is the UK has 143 influence. Now, I can send them a trade uh, trading route, a trade... Uh, what, 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 what is this thing even called? A trade route. There you go. And uh, we can probably get a little bit of extra stuff. I mean, there's really not too much. I mean, we're just going to have to send gold their way, unfortunately. Uh, and, and we have technically the funds to do it. The problem is my economy is low. Um, if we absolutely need to, then we will. I will certainly, you know, buy them off. Uh, but for now, we'll wait for, we're, we're going to wait until a few of our trade routes that are already established to finish up. And uh, yes, and then, and then we'll, you know, go to Cuba and go to all the city states that want trade routes. And that, there's actually a lot. So we have, we have a lot of different options there. I don't need to focus on India, although India is giving me a lot of money, which is very helpful. Uh, the city states don't offer me that much, and we'll have to wait and see. Um, whenever we get our next social policy, I, I am continue, I'm, I'm going to continue to go down patronage, I think. There's really nothing left in the freedom ideology tree that I, I absolutely need, need at this point, I don't think. So we'll see. We'll see. But uh, yes, I'm, I'm building I'm, – I'm kind of getting my naval units to start to you know, start to border the Americans and just to see what they got going on here. Very, I really, I'm very interested to see what they got going on here. Over the break, I did ask Barack Obama if he was willing to go to war with Mexico, and he said absolutely not. And I was surprised by that. I thought that we'd be able to maybe kind of push them into a war uh, along their southern front, but that's not going to happen. So that's a little bit too bad. That would have helped us out. Uh, but whatever, it's okay. So anyways, let's continue to spy on them, see if we can kind of spot any units. This is probably a good spot there. The Canadians have a few in the Pacific. Uh, I don't think we have to worry about that too much. Uh, now, I believe this is the other nation that wants Eastern Orthodox. Yes, it is. Um, and then we have a few more units. So I think we're going to start this up in about two turns. About two turns, I'm thinking. Just, just We're just waiting for everything to get in the right spot, and I think we're going to be good to go. I mean, I could technically do it... No, I can't do it now. This T90 needs to stay there. Don't want to do it yet. Okay, so that, that's the problem. One of these is we have a caravan. Uh, the thing is, do I want to waste production and time to build a cargo ship? Now, how many caravans do I have? I've got three caravans. Do I want to delete this guy and get out a cargo ship? Do I have a coastal city that can work on a cargo ship at some point? Not really. Not Really? I, well, I mean, how fast can you build? You, you've got a windmill you're going to finish up next turn. Uh, you can build me a cargo ship in six turns. Do we want to... Do I want to stay so low? I mean, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I mean I'm, I'm losing money no matter what. I'm going to get money when I go to war Germany, when I destroy units. I don't know if I'm going to get money from all the nukes, from the, 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 the units I'm going to destroy from the nuke. I don't think I get money from that, but we'll see. I'm going to take the risk here, and I'm going to delete the caravan so we can build a cargo ship in a coastal city. Uh, that way we can maybe help out that influence and maybe help out and get a little bit more influence with Cuba. Um, very, I, I want to get that alliance. Very, very bad. So let's kind of see what we got. Anything here? No. Okay, but we're going to keep them off the coast of Alaska. Uh, you continue off this way. Man, this, this terrain is so rough, so it's just it's so hard to move. Very hard to move. And I need to make a, a priority that I make sure I get rocket artillery within range. Or maybe not within range, but they've got to get up here. I can't I can't move. What? Oh, because you're out of moves. Okay. Okay, that makes a little bit of sense. Uh, I could switch these guys. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. I could put you there. I, I don't think I want to risk putting Poland on the front lines just because I, I don't want Poland to take those cities. I'd rather take those cities myself. Even though I don't think it's a big deal either way. Oh, there's a bunch of archaeological sites here. I didn't even see those. Of course I didn't, Drew. When do, when do I ever see things? Never. I never see things. I don't know what I'm smoking. Obviously, I know what I'm smoking. But I'm just saying, I, I always... It doesn't surprise me that I forget, that I, I missed that. I knew that there were archaeology... I figured there was archaeological sites somewhere. I just didn't know exactly where. Okay, you're going to stay there. Uh, I've got my great prophet just running around Eastern Asia, converting things. Okay, so here's a few ships. Nothing too major, though. We should be able to handle it, I think. 
We should be able to handle that. I mean, that's not that's not bad at all. Let's get you out this way. Come on, rocket artillery. You guys are the last ones to come, but you guys are the most important, especially with those very highly defended cities that Germany has. Wow, okay, the Canadians have a lot in the Pacific. Maybe that's the way it's supposed to be set up. Uh, too bad I don't have very much vision here. Okay, next turn. Research agreement. No, no, that's not going to actually happen. I'd rather not waste 450 gold for no reason, because more than likely, you're going to keep a hold of that anyways. Okay, yeah, Cuba's going to be great. we got to get a hold of Cuba. And also, I'm sure my spy, I, I'm hoping my spy will be able to rig the election and, and give us a few, a little bit of influence. If we destroy the UK, then we can for sure pick up that uh, alliance. Now, does the UK have a lot of city-state alliances? Not really. And neither does Germany. New Zealand, Morocco. Not bad. I do need to worry about my naval units moving throughout the Mediterranean, and I do have one missile cruiser that I just built up uh, from a Black Sea coastal city that I just finished. Argentina and Mexico teaming up against... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The USA and Mexico teaming up against Argentina. Okay. That's probably why they were not down to go to war with Mexico. They were probably planning on that war to go to war to go to war with the... So, so now... A lot of the, the USA and Mexico, I think, are at war. Everyone's at war with Brazil. Almost all the freedom nations are at war with Brazil. Uh, so it seems to be kind of a, everyone's teaming up against the South American nations, surprisingly enough. I, I don't really know why. Besides, I guess maybe it's just an ideological thing. They probably just don't like that they're a different ideology, which is messed up. I know. All right, I really hope we can do this. I probably need to move in rocket artillery a little bit closer. I don't think this is the ideal spot. Although, I don't know if I'm going to destroy... I should be able to just... I think I'm going to destroy most of their troops. Get this guy here. Nuclear missile. Uh, yeah, you go ahead and stay back there. Stay safe. Stay back there. Let me, let, me, uh, let me go ahead... Oh, well, let me fix this first. Let me count here. So, if I nuke here, the only tile that should survive is probably this mobile SAM. I'm hoping... We've got we've to push these guys forward. And you know what? I'm going to risk them. I'm going to push them forward. I want most of my rocket artillery here. Uh, yeah, I want you to, come on. Switch spots, guys. There you go. Bam. So I've got two rocket artillery in the front lines. Too bad I can't push Poland out of the way. I, I've got, I've got, I'm going to have two more rocket artillery here. Let's, uh, let's back you up down south and then move you there. And then I should have my great general move here and throw down a citadel. That way we don't have to worry about the French Open Borders Agreement. And I think that'll be useful. Dang, we took 18 year turns to build that nuclear bomb in this city. It's terrible. Mechanized infantry. Or mechanized factory, I'm sorry. I always, I always say that. And you were supposed to build my cargo ship. You are now... Okay, good. It's only going to take you five turns now. Not bad. I like it. So good. These, these have been built. Nuclear missile, 16 turns, man. I guess that's why we build these factories everywhere. Research lab. That's probably not a terrible idea. Although, this is Kiev. We could use you for more... Yeah, let's, move, let's use you for more naval units. Sounds like a good plan to me. Move you down south. Since uh, Poland, I think, has our front in the, in, in, in the north with Warsaw. They've got the extra units there. We'll move you down south. Maybe protect against, uh, protect against France. I'd love to be allied to Sweden. We could probably do that. Ooh, we could probably do that. Who do we really not need to... We probably don't need to be right now in Kazakhstan. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and move you to Sweden. I mean, I could probably pay them off right now, honestly. Probably just pay them off now and just grab them. What do you want? In terms of missions, you just want a... You want a road. That's going to take way too long. Uh, I should probably just pay you off for about... I could I could do it for 250 That's not expensive at all. Especially if I do it right before the war. Is Sweden really going to help out that much? I mean, strategically, their spot, not so much. It would be great to put rock artillery uh, in Scandinavia. I'm going to go ahead and grab it. Uh, I'll wait. I'll wait until we go to war. Yeah, I'll wait just a little bit. Uh, United Nations in five more turns. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Thank you. You're going to stay there. You do the same thing. Okay. I apologize. There's just so much prep work here. So much prep work. It's very, very beginning because I'm uh, important that we, we don't mess this up. 
We messed this up because at this point, we're pretty much saying screw all of our old friends in the freedom world. Uh, we're doing our own thing now. So clearly, yeah, the Canadians have the fleet in the Pacific. Uh, the United States don't. And, and we'll see exactly when we get those units over towards... Um, I'm going to actually move this guy this way. Four turns. Not bad. I like it. Uh, we'll see exactly how much the Americans have off the coast of Washington. I guess I should say Washington, D.C. I'll move some of you guys this way. Uh, do we have units there yet? Okay, you... Oh, no, no. Make sure you get along the coast. Okay, so he might call me out here. I, I'm going to have to say no. I'm going to have to backstab him, but I don't even care. And yeah, that's pretty much saying... I mean, the world's not going to be happy with that choice that I, I'm going to have to make, but... What am I going to do, man? I, I've, I cannot go to war with him unless I absolutely need to. There we go. That's what I was waiting for. Bam. Awesome. So we're pretty much ready. Um, I mean, they do have some submarines here. We don't have any of our... Let's... Ch oh, dang. They haven't moved yet. Okay. All right. Next turn. You guys get that way. You can kind of reinforce whenever... I'm sure we're going to lose some of our... Dang, look at these units. Oh, my goodness. That's a sight right there. That is a sight, and I can't forget about all the, the Air Force units that are going to be involved here as well. So I, I don't need all the units. The units weren't the important thing, though. I wasn't really worried too much about the units. You better get out of my way, France. Now, don't be doing that stuff. Don't be putting your French military unit. This is my stuff now. Brazil's denouncing me. That's fine. I don't care. I like you, Brazil. I mean, I don't because you kind of jipped me with those trading with those uh, trade deals. You were trying to jip me at least. Um, but... But yeah, no, I, I like Brazil because they're, they're the only nation that's kind of standing up to the freedom worlds, and uh, they're not allowing the American cultural victory, which is important. Okay, that's fine, Argentina. That's fine. Go ahead and denounce me. It's cool. Clearly, there is an ideological war that's happening, in, and specifically, it's, it's going on in South America because that's kind of the last remaining spot at this point. Um, so... This is what we're going to have to do. Uh, so I'm going to pay Sweden off, and I think we're just going to begin it now. Even though I would have loved to have placed those... Um, or maybe we wait one... Well, I might wait one more turn, just because I would like to move these guys up here. Right there. Put you... I guess I can put you there. I'll, I'll take a risk and put you there. And then move you here. Maybe there. We'll see. I don't think there's going to be any units for us to attack anyway, so we'll see. And you guys can kind of, like, push forward a little bit. Whoops. Sending some guys backwards. Whoopsie. Okay, yeah. And 250 for Sweden. Bam. 250 golds. Nice. A little bit of extra influence. Rocket artillery. You guys get over this way as fast as you can. Just stay safe. Stay safe. It's an automation. So I don't know exactly what the computer is going to send, what route they're going to send them there. I got to keep an eye because they're going to be embarked, so they might get destroyed. Okay, so last turn, and then we go to war with Germany. Yeah, they're, this is going to be good, I think. And Missile Cruiser just made it out, so now it's perfect. Wow, Canada. Okay, very worried about the Canadian fleets. Much more worried about the Canadian fleet than anything else. Wow. I was not expecting Canada to have such a fleet. Okay, so there's just a fleet. Oh, there's a lot of, of units over this way. There's more units coming though. Uh, my my Pacific my Atla I'm sorry my Atlantic Ocean fleet is not is not over. I still have more units coming. I don't think that we can take all those forces on. I think allying to Cuba, allying to someone like uh, Colombia, Venezuela, I should say, would be a good idea too. Who is allied to Venezuela? They were neutral towards them. The Americans. Okay, yeah. So this is kind of crucial that we pick those those up. But that they have a 240 influence. The Americans have 240 influence with Venezuela. Uh, Panama would be a good one too, actually. Panama Panama might be even better than Venezuela. Although I'm I'm assuming that more than likely Panama's uh, less better. I guess I should say as a city state. I don't know. These guys. Okay, so I think I think we're seeing a lot of units because they're going after South America, which is good. I hope that I hope they do. I hope they actually do send a lot of their ship, uh, ships down that way. Because that way we have to worry about much less. Germany's now an ally of Kazakhstan. Oh, no. That can't happen. That's that's not good. We are friends with Bolivia. And uh, we are an ally of Ecuador. Okay, so let's make sure that that does not... That, that needs to change. New Zealand and Morocco I don't care about. We just finished the missile cruiser across the Mediterranean. Uh, so we don't need to worry about... 
them how much inflow oh this is fine okay so i can just kind of grab that for 250 i don't like to pay that much when my economy is so low but uh yeah let's start this up and again i'm just kind of alternating between battleships and missile cruisers um which is a good idea i think that we're going to obviously dominate in the pacific but at the Atlant at, in the atlantic it's going to be a different it's going to be way different there and i i did talk about maybe uh, i think it's kind of too late we clearly need more support in the at, uh, the atlantic fleet so maybe uh with the atlantic fleet i guess i should say so puppeting or i guess annexing the cities in the off the arabian peninsula won't do much that because i'm gonna have to go around the horn of, horn of africa and it's just it's just gonna take too long okay you guys get over this way too all right it's time baby it is totally time all right let's let's get this war started declare and uh, yes, I know that the city-states are going to declare war on me. That's fine. Did anyone else declare on me? No, just Germany. Good. Let me just double-check. Any AIs? Just Germany. Perfect. Let's drop ourselves our nuclear missile. And we want it right there. That'll be the most ideal spot right there. Taking out my, probably most of the German units. There'll be a few still left. Nice. There are still a few left. Okay, but they're, all their cities are in the yellow. So if we can use the fleet now, it's it's too bad that I had to move all the units this way. But if we can use the fleet off the Baltic Sea now to capture Hamburg, that would be excellent. Um, and I'm hoping that my air force and my units on the ground will kind of deal with any sort of possible range attack uh, that we might have to deal with. So this is just an archaeologist, so I don't have to worry about that guy. Uh, let's make sure that we let's use a battleship and a, maybe a missile cruiser Can I attack from here? I can okay boom so we could take that guy down. I can move I can attack the submarine We'll have to be careful, but yeah, let's go ahead and attack the submarine uh, Dang I should have probably pushed my submarine a little bit further into their territory, but that's okay I'll attack here we might lose a fleet or a ship or two in the Baltic Sea, but uh, that's okay Let's get you out here. Can we land now? Nice, we can. Perfect. Okay, so that bolt, that that rocket artillery will be engaged in the battle next turn. Um, I'm gonna keep you guys there. I, I don't really see use for you, and it's you can kind of protect the uh, the African front. Continue with the trading posts. Okay, so we have to we have to destroy these units. There's three of them we have to destroy because we have to start attacking the cities now. We can still do some damage to Berlin. That's not bad. Okay, I'm glad that we nuked that. Okay, so right now, let's just focus on the mobile SAM because that's the one that's closest to us, uh, as, as well as we can get three rocket artillery attacks on it. Uh, two maybe T-90s. I don't think so. I think I'll utilize a jet bomber from Kiev. Just one. Very nice. We did take some damage back, but that's okay. Ooh, wait a second. I don't want to go into... Because I'll be bombarded by both Munich and Berlin, and who knows, by the Air Force. So, you know what? Let's actually use uh, all the jet bombers to take out. I know that this is going to be risky, kind of. I just I don't want to lose a T-90. I want to keep those. Okay, wait, wait, not yet. Let's make sure that we destroy... Let's focus on this German martyr. Yeah, I believe that's what it's... I think that's a German martyr. And now everything else is going to be up to the Air Force. And I hope that we have enough. We, and they're going to take a lot of damage back, and that's fine. That's their job. I've, that's why I have a lot of them. So good. We, we'll, we'll definitely be able to destroy them, I think, to destroy the remaining units. I, I hope they don't have too much, and I doubt they had, to uh, German units in western Germany. Uh, why would they be protecting their front against the French? They, they like the French. So that's what I'm hoping for. And let's keep Berlin down. Ooh. Take a lot of damage back. Okay, so you know what? I'm going to I'm gonna pass on that. Yeah, never mind. Never mind. Got an atomic bomb and a nuclear missile there. Not going to waste that shot. MIGs. I believe I've got a stealth bomber someplace. Yeah, don't want to use my air force. The air force is probably going to be strictly for land units. Um, yeah, we're going to stay. We're going to stay where we're at for now. Naval land. Yeah, let's do that. Let's stay with it. Yeah, let's stay right there. We're not going to get bombardment, uh, bombarded. We also are going to give a chance for the Polish AI to move in, be dumb, take a few hits for us. Uh, maybe, hopefully, um, 
hopefully Germany will attack the Poland units, the Polish units, instead of my own units. But uh, anyways, guys, I'm going to have to stop right there with a few deals that have ended. But our German war has finally kicked off. Looks like it's off to a pretty good start. Uh, and we, we had a very excellent spot, but I think we're going to lose quite a few ships that were in the Baltic Sea. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.